Welcome to Build Edge. I'm Aaron Dietzen, and this is an overview of door types in Build Edge Pro. Alright, in these videos, we're not going to look at the process of placing or editing doors, um, but just walking through and looking at the different door types that are included with Build Edge Pro. We're going to start with standard doors. In this case, I put five standard doors into this wall. I'm going to go ahead and use Direct Edit to select the first door and then the properties will show up. I can see this is a swing type door. They're all swing doors. And this one right here is a standard door. So if I look at that standard door and see that it includes just a single panel, uh, kind of a slab, uh, and that's it. If I uh, pan down here, I can see that I have a glass door. If I pick on that, swing glass. And this has a glass panel in the middle of it. The next one is a four panel door. So you have four panels selected there. And then next to that, I have a six panel door. The last one right now is a style five. Style five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 are all look the same. They're all just a single panel to start with. The intent of these five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 doors is that you, a user, specifically a SketchUp Pro user, would be able to use these doors to create whatever type you want. So if I have something where I have a decorative oval window that I want to include, I could open up Style 5, open the dynamic component, put my oval window in there, save it, and then I can plop that into any model uh, over and over again. So that is a quick look at the standard swing type doors. Up next are double doors. So here I have a double door input. This is the standard type. Again, just the two slabs. Then I have a glass double door. So a glass panel in the center of each. Four panel door, six panel door, and then of course my generic style number five. And again, five through 10 are generic. They're gonna look like a standard door, but they can be edited uh, by the pro user however you want. Um, something important to note is that there is only one width, and that is the width of both doors together. So five foot means each of these doors are two and a half uh, feet wide. So that comes up with that full five foot. And that is it for double doors. Up next, we have bypass doors. The first bypass door is standard. This means the, uh, the bypass door is two two pieces that pass by each other, uh, often referred to as a slider or maybe a closet door, um, but the two slabs actually lap one over another. Um, the standard is just two slabs. Then I have my glass type. This is something to be used maybe on a exterior sliding door, a patio door, something like that. Then I have four panel and six panel, more likely used as closet doors or something like that. And then of course, Number five through 10, just like the last two, are generic. So they have nothing on there, they're just the panels right now, but can be edited by SketchUp Pro. That is it for bypass doors. Up next we have bifold doors. These are doors that fold out, the two doors slabs are connected and they fold out on one hinge. Um, often, like I said, times used like, similar to the sliders used in closet doors a lot. Uh, the first type is a standard bifold, has two slab doors. Second is glass. Third is two panel doors, each door has two panels. And then three panel doors, each pa door has three panels. And then finally, of course, the generic, five through 10, are blank canvases ready for the SketchUp Pro user to modify as they need. That is a run through of bifold doors. Up next are double bifold. And rather than explain how these work, I figured I would open up one of the doors and show you. Um, using the standard SketchUp Interact tool, you can actually change the swing. Um, but I can see here a double bifold is two sets of doors hinged on one side and then the two doors are hinged together. Um, this first one is a standard. So again, just standard slabs. Second type is glass, four glass panels. Then I have two panel doors, so four two panel doors, three panel doors, six of them. And then just like all the other ones, five through 10 are generic. 
That is it for double bifold doors. Up next we have garage doors. You see there's something a little different about garage doors, there's only four of them. If I click on the first one, this is my standard garage door. Uh, it starts with the default is four horizontal sections, no panels in them. And then I have panels. Again, four sections, but each one has a set of panels in them. These properties are actually defined. You can look in the later video, it'll show how to set the properties of the panels. Um, but that's just solid panels, whereas the th third door includes glass panels. The top set of panels are glass. Finally, we have the generic door, style 4. In the case of garage doors, style, styles 4 through 10 are all generic. So a little different from the previous door types in that there's an extra generic type in there. But that is an overview of the garage doors. Finally, we have our two additional door types right here. I have a cased opening. Cased opening is a hole in the wall with a casing around it, but no actual door. So I don't have a style there since there's nothing actually to set for the uh, door type on the inside. To the right of that, I have an opening only. This is just like it says, a hole punched in the wall, no casing, no nothing, just a hole in there. It is still uh, has properties. I can still set the width and the height, but there's no case option, no style option. It's just a hole. So that covers all of the door types you can place with BuildEdge Pro. And that concludes our video on BuildEdge door types. For more information and additional tutorials, please visit www.buildedge.com. Thank you.